get your cholesterol healthy. Tip number two is to totally cut out all trans fats. First of all, trans fats were created, they were developed to make us healthier. How funny is that? Um, years ago, we thought that saturated fat was killing us and giving us heart disease. So they took unsaturated fat, added some hydrogen molecules to it, and that's trans fats. So it turns out trans fats, one of the reasons why they became so popular is because they are inexpensive to use and they make processed carbs shelf stable. So um, all those snack crackers and everything can stay on the shelves for months and not go bad. Well, as it turns out, we find years and years later that those trans fats are like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Here's what I mean by that. They have the power to not only increase your bad cholesterol, your LDL, but they also decrease your good cholesterol, your HDL. So it's like they do a double whammy. This is one of the reasons why I say, if nature made it, eat it. If man made it, don't. Even if we think something is healthier at the moment, be humble enough to realize, look at history. If, if man came up with it in a laboratory, it's usually not as good for your body. It might even have bad effects. So where are you gonna find these trans fats well almost any kind of processed food stay away from the vending machine completely but on a processed food look at the label this one for example trans fats there's one gram of trans fats per serving even if that number says zero there could still be trans fats in it because the government says if there's less than 0.5 grams per serving they can claim zero so all that means is you need to go to the ingredients list your source of truth and if you see the words partially hydrogenated oil of any kind that's code for trans fats and you need to stay away from it so this again is one of the biggest things you can do to help out your cholesterol just avoid processed foods altogether and um, you're going to be better for it. Thanks so much for watching today's health tip, and I'll see you tomorrow.